Greetings, everyone. Pastor Jake here to share a devotion. Today's reading is going to come from the first book of the Bible, Genesis chapter 32. Let's hear God's word. The same night, Jacob got up and took his two wives, his two maids, and his eleven children and crossed the ford of the Jabbok River. He took them and sent them across the stream, and likewise everything that he had. Jacob was left alone, and a man wrestled with him until daybreak. When the man saw that he did not prevail against Jacob, he struck him on the hip socket, and Jacob's hip was put out of joint as he wrestled with him. Then he said, Let me go, for the day is breaking. But Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. So he said to him, What is your name? And he said, Jacob. Then the man said, You no longer shall be called Jacob, but Israel, for you have striven with God and with humans and have prevailed. Then Jacob asked him, Please tell me your name. But he says, Why is it that you ask my name? And there he blessed him. So Jacob called the place Peniel, saying, For I have seen God face to face, and yet my life is preserved. The sun rose upon him, and he passed Penuel, limping because of his hip. Uh, this is one of my favorite stories in all of Genesis, in all the Old Testament, uh, because Jacob is such a, a relatable character. Um, he's finally come to face the music with his old brother Esau that he's estranged and he's broken fellowship with, and he's robbed them of his birthright. He's betrayed him. He's stolen from him. They are not on good terms. And now... After 20 long years, he has to cross the river and face the music of this past crime. He's finally going to hes going to go meet his brother, and he doesn't have good thoughts about how that's going to go. He thinks it's going to go terribly. And it's here at night that he wrestles with God. I think that he's actually praying at this point. He's praying, and in this prayer, God appears, and he's wrestling, and he's going back and forth, and he's holding on to God as tight as he can. And, uh, and that's what we do in prayer. We, we wrestle. By the way, when his name is changed from Jacob, which means deceiver, um, it's changed to Israel, one who wrestles. And, uh, and that becomes a, an identity marker for the people of Israel. And, and even for us today is that we wrestle. We wrestle with God and what it means to be his, belong to his. We do that in prayer as we try to discern, is it my will or is it thy will be done? Well, we pray that in the Lord's Prayer. And, uh, and, and as he wrestles... Um, he actually holds on, and, and God opens up a doorway. He challenges him. And, and indeed, when he crosses the river, what happens is his brother doesn't kill him. They end up reconciling together. I think that's our call, too, is that no matter how contentious our relationships may be, no matter how broken or how far apart they are, one day we have to face the music, and we have to be reconciled. A good starting point for that is prayer. Who do you need to be reconciled with? Who are you praying for that that relationship might be bridged and that you might see God face to face as you go and approach this time of healing and reconciliation? Please pray with me. Good and gracious God, we stand at the, at the crossroads knowing that there are moments where we have to face the music and we have hard conversations ahead and reconciliation is hard work. And so we wrestle with what, what that means. Um, be with us as we wrestle and find a way to heal us as we go and meet your people and are reconciled and our brothers and sisters in Christ. It's in your name in whom we pray. Amen. Beloved child of God, may God bless you and encourage you. May God equip you and guide you to shine the light of Christ in the world as you go out each day in faith. Amen.